It is now my great joy to present to you the students who have been chosen by their classmates to be the class speaker. For the day division, it's my pleasure to introduce Ben Wilkoff. Hello. To give you guys the speech you deserve, I felt like a lot of preparation and research was necessary. I listened to commencement speeches from colleges across the nation. I listened to vitamin C songs and Kanye West albums. I even watched the King's speech twice. I also took suggestions from my classmates, but unfortunately for the six of you, I was not allowed to do my speech in haiku form. I discovered that most great commencement speeches have one of two things. They either have some kind of advice for being successful in the future, or an epic and poignant quote. And because I am just as clueless as you are as to what the future holds, I knew I'd have to settle for a quote. So I looked to where I always do for inspiration. And in the interest of full disclosure, I must admit, I'm quite the sucker for inspirational YouTube videos. And there was one that caught my eye when I looked at it. And it happened to feature one of the greatest legal and poetic minds of our time, a man who, like us, fought for what he believed in, a man who very likely could be featured in legal treatises across the world. That man is none other than Muhammad Ali. Before a large, a large, excuse me, a big fight, he once said, I've wrestled an alligator, I've tussled with a whale. I handcuffed lightning, and I threw thunder in jail. Now, I'm gonna show the world how great I am. So why quote an aging boxer with no ties to Philadelphia or the law? Well, it's a metaphor. Law school was our alligator wrestling match, our triumphant battle. And today is when we celebrate overcoming those obstacles. Three years ago, we went across the street and listened to the dean read off an impressive list of our colleagues' accomplishments and prior jobs. We had amongst us teachers, football players, wrestlers, engineers, a used book salesman, DJs, doctors, even a former high school dean. We had husbands and wives, mothers and fathers, young and old. But whoever you were, wherever you were from, and whatever you had accomplished in your life, we all had to get through the same things during law school. Regardless of what section you were in, you had to get through litigation basics. Every one of us had to write a memo for days on end on a subject that we didn't care about. Every one of us bought Black's Law Dictionary and used it once. <laughs> we each began our 1L year briefing cases for hours on end, writing pages of notes we'd never look at. By our second year, we were content with filling in the margins of our textbooks. And our third year, we got exceptionally good at Googling cases in the middle of lecture. <laughs> we, sat through, oh, sorry. we sat through long classes G-chatting and shopping online. We endured obscure hypos from our colleagues. We would all collectively sigh when we saw the kid with a two-part question raise his hand. <laughs> you learned to loathe letters like MPRE, OCI, and even, I'm sorry to say it, LRW. You came to appreciate letters like E&E, &E, DCP, and WLC for their outlines. You knew which groups had quality snacks during presentations, and you knew exactly where they put their leftovers. But most importantly, in our time at law school, we learned to characterize everything and view the world in a different light. We discovered how to become lawyers. For all our gripes, we subtly bettered ourselves and changed our perceptions. We enhanced how we think and how we assess our surroundings. We opened our minds to topics and things we'd never have considered. And I think it's very appropriate to characterize our time together in a positive light. To look back at what we've learned, who we've met, and who each of us has become. And to think, all of this has just happened in three short years. Short years for some, long years for others. But if you look around us at the people celebrating with us today, we have our families who provided support both emotionally and financially. We had our sections who put up with us and we had to put up with, particularly section three, who spent a year with me. But these people are not just your colleagues. They've also become your friends. I think our social connections were a large part of what propelled us through law school. Without them, students, friends, and families alike, we never would have had the experience we did. While it's clear that we are all very unique, 
Every single one of us went through these hurdles and overcame them. And while I've already probably exceeded my tackiness quotient for one speech, the fact of the matter is, after this day, whether you call yourself a lawyer, attorney, barrister, counselor, advocate, JD, or anything else, we are and always will be the Temple Law School class of 2013. In these three years, we have excelled in the face of pressure and opposition. Being able to walk across the stage in a short while is an accomplishment that cannot be understated. These are our alligators, and this was our wrestling match. We have come out on top, better than ever before, ready to take on whatever we might encounter, ready to fight for whatever we believe in. And now, with this tremendous achievement behind us, we can show the world how great we are. Thank you.